hello and welcome to another viewer edit. Today I've got this beautiful photo from Ashish and I'm gonna turn it into a photo like this while explaining to you every single step I do. Alright, so let's get started. I'm gonna start off by cropping the image because I think all this on the right as well as on the left is just kind of a little bit too much and I think it will work a lot cleaner if I just crop the edges right here so the bridge is more in the center and really fills out the picture. I might even try to go pretty symmetric here and even go and crop out some of these cars and yeah, I actually think that works even better. Now, I really don't think I'm gonna edit this in color just because there aren't really any interesting colors. Uh, it's really kind of distracting. So I'm gonna go with black and white here and definitely gonna bring down the highlights so we have a lot of detail in the background and the sky. I'm also gonna bring up the shadows so I can bring down the blacks quite far and that way you get a really dramatic and very contrasty look and you see here if I bring the shadows just to zero it's just kind of too dark especially in these dark areas so that way by bringing up the shadows and down the blacks you get the very contrasty and very uh, dramatic look then to contrast itself I really don't want to add too much in the foreground so I might just grab a graduated filter a little bit later but for now let's play around with the whites and I'm definitely gonna bring them up a little bit always want to make sure that you don't clip anything there in terms of clarity clarity is kind of like contrast I really like the look in the background but in the foreground well maybe just a little bit global clarity and color temperature obviously black and white picture doesn't really matter so then I think I'm just gonna grab a graduated filter and just kind of drag it over the top portion right here have sort of a soft edge so all adjustments look very natural and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of clarity and a little bit of contrast for the background before after I really think it works pretty well then let's go down to the tonal curve I'm not gonna you know do a super in-depth edit since this is just about the overall look and not about every single detail as perfect as it can be so I'm gonna go quite fast here just play around with the sliders of course as always really not a sec tactic on that I think that looks pretty well before after not that big of a difference but it does change the image a little bit split toning definitely don't think I'm gonna add any color although you could definitely play around with that even in black and white but I really don't want that in this photo detail I'm also gonna skip that because it's just about the overall look but you definitely want to take advantage of the detail tool if you edit this for yourself so I'm gonna go quite fast down to effects and I definitely want to add some vignetting and even bring the midpoint more towards the center and that way you really get a lot of tension towards the center and I think it works really well for this photo obviously this is completely optional and doesn't necessarily work all of the times but in this case I really think it does work quite well and actually I think I'm pretty much done with all the global adjustments so let's go to the local adjustments and first of all you just kind of want to look at the image is there anything you want to do where do you want to do it it's really valuable to do that so hmm I think the sky might just be a little bit too bright so let's grab a graduated filter just for the top sky right here and go down a little bit in the exposure and maybe even grab a rail filter and just kind of drag a very big one over down here and go minus exposure down there as well so the whole picture is a little bit less bright and has a little bit more of a dramatic mood then I think I'm gonna grab another graduated filter and just drag it over the bottom of the picture and go down the in the exposure and that way you really can create some additional vignetting some very custom vignetting and I think it works really well in quite a lot of the cases especially here so you see you have kind of a gradient from very dark in the background going to kind of mid tones going to the lighter tones at the end of the road but I think I might even exaggerate that 
that more with even another graduated filter over the very background, you know, way smaller than the other one even, and go down in the exposure even more. And that way I think works really well. It really gives a sense of dynamic in the whole picture. So speaking of vignetting, I think I might just add a little bit of vignetting on both sides as well with the graduated filters and just go back in the, in the minus exposure there as well and kind of do the same thing with the left side. You definitely don't want to, you know, do it like this, but just a little bit can oftentimes really help to um, exaggerate the mood and the overall look in your picture. I actually really like the overall look already. I definitely think though there is a lot of dodge and burning needed. So I'm gonna add a lot of dodge and burning with the rail filter. Dodge and burning is just making individual parts brighter or darker. And I'm gonna first off start with plus exposure filters and maybe just grab a big one over this road. You know, uh, you just wanna make sure that you invert the mask so all the adjustments are within the filter and that your feather is to 100. That's very important. Otherwise, you know, your adjustments will look very unnatural. So um, with dodge and burning, just kinda amplify the lighting. Don't go over the deepest shadows and just raise that because that doesn't look natural. You really just wanna amplify the dark and bright parts and create some interest in the parts of the picture that don't really have any. So I'm just gonna do that so you can right click duplicate. I think it works especially well on these houses, on this uh, wall right here for example. You can even mix that with clarity. Right click duplicate, bring one above. And I mean that really adds so much dynamic, so much interest in terms of lighting. Of course you kind of have to adjust the value depending on where you put these rail filters. Maybe another one over these cars. Right click duplicate. Over this building right here, a pretty small one and not go quite as far with it, right click duplicate. This is something that you could take a lot of time with when you edit this picture for yourself, but of course I don't really want to bore you with a 10 minute of dodge and burning, so I think I'm just gonna close up on the plus exposure and just add some negative exposure. Now especially in black and white pictures, I think negative exposure is very very valuable and you know, once again, just want to make some dark parts dark darker to kind of increase the contrast, increase the uh, overall interest in terms of lighting. So I'm just going to put some negative exposure filters in between these plus exposure filters, kind of. You kind of can overlap those as well, because once again, if I go here into the extremes, you see the actual area affected is way smaller than the actual filter looks like because we set the feather to 100. <laughs> maybe one over there and you know you could even go quite far with it and for example make entire house walls almost completely dark uh, you just want to make sure that it doesn't look unnatural at the end but with a little bit of practice you will definitely kind of get the feel for it kind of already know where it will work and where it will not work so let's just add some more maybe right here a little bit of a bigger one in front of these cars where no light hits just kind of amplifying that maybe here on the right even more a little bit into the minus exposure on this uh, truck right here right click duplicate and hmm maybe even on the bridge I could try to amplify the lighting here so let's just add some for the bridge first of all negative exposure right click duplicate and just add another one or rather two for this top part of the bridge and also add two for these pillars down there. Now, hmm, I think the sky might still be a little bit too bright, especially in these, um, you know, in between these pillars. So I might even uh, go a little bit down in the exposure for all of that part as well. But yeah, at the end, I think it works pretty well. And maybe I'm just gonna add some more plus exposure filters, very small ones for this bridge. 
bridge just to add more interest once again. So let me finish that off and yeah, I think I'm pretty much done. Maybe just another one down here, a little bit more into the plus exposure. And yeah, I think I'm pretty much done with dodge and burning. Once again, it's always worth to just kind of take a look at it and see if there's something additional you want to do. Actually, I might just grab even another graduated filter and drag another one down here in between those two um, negative exposure graduated filter that I've added before and just go even further into the minus exposure. And I think that actually works really well. It gives even more a sense of the bottom being darker and it really gives a sense of depth. So I think I'm actually done with the overall picture here. So let's see in the history the before and here is the after. I really think the crop works really well. It really helps to give more attention towards the actual street and the actual bridge. I think it is a really cool picture and yeah, I definitely like it better than the before. So I hope you find it interesting and maybe a little bit helpful. Of course, there are a lot of different ways you could edit this picture. You could, for example, also go in color, but I just think that the color is a little bit too distracting. And personally, I just like black and white better. But anyways, thank you all very much for watching and thank you very much for submitting your photo. Of course, be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one if you haven't done so already. See you in the next episode and of course as always, take care.